everybody. Hi, guys. Mr. and Mrs. Traveler here. El Consuelo. Coming to you with another fabulous Hot Topics Thursday. And it's hot today. We happy. <laughs> yes, indeedy. It's snowing everywhere else. Yeah, we saw some pictures from our family back up in Michigan. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's looking like this. <laughs> mm. I do not miss that at all, but I missed family. Me too. I can't wait to see. <laughs> all right. Our first question comes from Gwen Hebert. Hi, Gwen. Hey, Gwen. It's kind of a long one. I'll try to go through it kind of quickly. Some of it. Uh, yep. She's going to Cozumel Progresso. Mm -hmm. uh, she's traveling with a scooter. And okay. that's all fine with the cruise line. Everything is good there. But what she really wants to know is, I need suggestions on how to get me and the scooter to resorts in Cozumel and Progresso. Mm -hmm. Where do I get this information? I asked, I know for sure I could go straight from the ship to the long walkway with my scooter, but to get to the resorts is an issue. It, uh, is it, it's an issue you can possibly help me out. Thanks in advance. Okay, Gwen, so uh, let me try to answer this for you. So our, both our mothers have a lot of experience with scooters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we travel quite a bit with uh, with them with scooters and wheelchairs mm -hmm. and things like that. Yes. Um, and particularly in Cozumel, I took uh, my mother to a resort there in Cozumel. Yes. Uh, like you like you were saying, scooters no problem coming off the ship, going to the cabs, and usually you can just ask the people to have a uh, a van cab pick you up mm -hmm. so that you can put the scooter in the back of the van. Right. Okay. Uh, now, our experience with most of the resorts that we went to, uh, they have the wheelchairs that can go on sand. That's awesome. They have bigger tires so you can get around. Yeah. So there were quite a few, you know, quite a big portion of the resort is accessible by your scooter. Like you can get in, go to the restaurants. Sure you can. Um, kind of go down the pass and things like that. But to get to the actual beach itself, you know, most of the reputable uh, resorts there, in either one of those places, they do have the sand wheel wheelchairs. They have the real big fat tires on the back. And somebody that's traveling with you, or even somebody that's at the resort, uh, should have no problem pushing you out onto the beach and then uh, just leave your scooter somewhere secure off to the side so it's not in the way. So, no issues there. You'll be able to get out there and enjoy the resorts, sure enjoy the beach, mm -hmm. have and a good time. Also, when you're with babies, they have strollers with big wheels on them, so you can roll the baby out if you want to on sand as well. All that stuff there for you. They make it enjoyable for everybody. So, yes, uh, I had my mother out there. Mrs. Chowell's mother's been out there many she, times. She took it upon herself to get her own scooter. Our, she didn't want any help. Our, grandma, <laughs> our grandmother's been out there a lot, too. Yes, she has. So... No worries, go out there and see the world and enjoy yourself. Have fun. Gwen. Thanks, Gwen. Thank you, Gwen. Our next question is from Stacy Patton. Hi, Stacy. Hey, Stacy. Um, and this is in reference to our carnival pros and cons. Okay, that's the video that's right here. Mm -hmm. She says, Hi, do you guys think Carnival looks at y'all's videos? And if so, has anyone reached out to you with their response to any of y'all's questions? One more, have y'all done a dream ship? If so, what did you think of it? Thank you as always. Thank you so much, Stacy. That was a good question. Let's tackle the first part of it. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I would hope they would. <laughs> I, I'm sure that they have a department within Carnival that looks at social media, that looks at blogs, that looks at for mar blogs. For marketing. Yeah, they, you know, they, get, they get their feedback you know, from there. Have they ever reached out to me? Yeah. No. No, but I'm I'm here, Carnival. We ready. <laughs> USB ports. USB. <laughs> um, I I would love to to talk with them. They we would, would love to work with them if they want to. Yes. So we have almost too many views. So I'm Car sure somebody. Carnival, if you're out there, I'm I'm right here. You know how to get home. So Carnival, if you're out there, uh, you know how to get hold to us. Yes. <laughs> we wait. Reach out. Reach out and touch <laughs> us. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we love Carnival. We, you know, uh, that was our our one of our first cruises we ever. Went. I mean, we we've done Carnival more than anything. I love yes. I love Carnival, but uh, it's just like anything else uh, that I try to deal with. I try to be honest about it, mm -hmm. um, and that is, I tell you the good and the bad. You know, because I guess if it was all good to be boring. <laughs> so we we both share all the information we have. Yes, indeed. Uh, part two of your question. Mm -hmm. The dream. 
kind of a dream. Every road is kind of a dream. Yes, we have. <laughs> Out of 32 cruises, I have to go back in the roller decks. <laughs> I remember. We went on the dream specifically. I remember being, now I don't recall what cruise I was on, but I remember going to a cruise and looking at their future uh, ships that were coming out and the dream was was the first one of the dream class of ships and I remember seeing it and I remember this lovely feature on there that I was so intrigued with called a cove balcony oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> Very well. and I said I have got to try the cove balcony out so that's when we did the cove balcony on the dream mm -hmm. and how did you like it I really loved it <laughs> it was great <laughs> It was a little different from a regular balcony because everything is inside and then you have a little entrance for the balcony. It's not a window, but it's like an archway. Mm -hmm. So it's the sisters, all sister ships, the Dream, the Magic and the Breeze are all very similar in design and layout. Mm -hmm. um, we really, really enjoyed the cold balcony because it's on a lower floor and you can just hear the water going by is so good and I just I love listening to the waves crashing it's awesome mm -hmm. it is I really enjoy it you're in closer proximity to the water yeah and it looks like you're going so fast when you're right there mm -hmm. it's like <laughs> but up top it feel like you're going so slow when you're up on that like but it's a little different the cold balconies because unlike the regular balcony with the glass door and everything it has a watertight door on there on the outside so if they're like in rough seas they'll come and close that door so that there's no water that gets in but um they're pretty private because it's like in a like it says like a cove mm -hmm. um you know you can't see your neighbor next door to you at all it's very enclosed very private so dream was awesome it was great i enjoyed it go for it thank you for your question thank you so and much and finally our last question is from angela rustin hi angela Angela says, hello, I'm a big fan of all your videos. Have you ever done a dolphin swim shore excursion? Mm -hmm. I read you can't take your phone or personal belongings. was wondering who would hold it while you're in the water. This is kind of a two-fold question. Um, we have not done a dolphin excursion, but it's more of a personal reason. Yes, we don't like that they captivate the dolphins in one particular spot. Yeah, and I, I know I'm gonna hear feedback from this, so go ahead and comment below and <laughs> let me know what you think about the dolphins being contained into that one spot versus being free out in the ocean. Yeah, I'm. I, yeah, and then we shared we shared that opinion too. I kind of wanted to do it, but then uh, you know we looked at it. we went to uh, what like the Balmore Island. We mm -hmm. went to Nassau. We did. And you're looking, and we've been to a few other places mm -hmm. too. And you look down there, like in this square, and I'm like, it was pretty tight in there. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I'm, you know, I'm so used to dolphins being out and free. You want to see some good free dolphins? Check this one out. Uh, that was one of the most memorable moments we've ever been on in a cruise, where we yes. seen a pod of like 300 some dolphins, and that's what we're used to seeing it dolphins. Was unforgettable. And I don't don't get me wrong. I support the excursions, but it's just it, they're so tight in that one particular spot they're in. That's why I like to go. If I was to do a dolphin excursion, it would have to be something that they let the dolphins go and come back because they're smart enough to go out and come back. But when they're surrounded by a little square, that, that really bothers me. Yeah, I mean, and when we lived on the golf side, we would see dolphins that would go fishing. The, the dolphins is right there. and They're happy when they breathe. <sighs> I'm just used to seeing it, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how I feel about it. But anyway, to answer the other part of your question, uh, they usually have locker rentals. Mm -hmm. Uh, for your things like that and, and they'll you know they hold on to your stuff or if you have other family members that aren't going let them hold it but they do you know, most of the places have locker so so that's not really a, a big deal uh, I, I, what are your thoughts on this uh, are we are we off base here or do they let them out at night something we don't know I mean I, I don't know tell us what tell us what you think I'm, I'm not, I'll be honest with you I'm not really super educated on the dolphin excursion portion of it because because of the reasons that we already gave mm -hmm. uh but to be honest with you i haven't really looked in and did any research on it either so um for you uh, all that are out there uh this is your chance to educate us i mean are we right or wrong on this i don't know go ahead and comment below and let us know if you took an excursion and did a dolphin tour and did you have fun what do you think about it what do you think about our views yeah, I'm curious to see. Okay. 
All right, everybody. Thank you so much, as always, for the questions. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Happy holidays, and thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Life's short. Have fun. Bye, guys. Bye.